Hey, what's up guys? We are back in Palm Bay today and we're in St. John's Preserve and we're checking out more new construction. We've been looking to try to find builders that have really good incentives. And I think we may have found, at least in my opinion, what I think the best incentives right now are on the Space Coast or really anywhere in Central Florida for new construction. So we're checking out the Adams Homes. This is the 1780 model. The, one of the things that's kind of unique about Adams is they don't really have names for their models. Everything's identified by a number. So it's a 1780, so it's a 32, 1780 square feet. So let's go inside and check it out. All right, so we'll start up here in the front of the home, obviously, because that's where we are. So um, Adams is what I would consider a really good entry level builder. They're gonna give you as much value as possible for getting into real estate. So that's pricing, incentives, and you're gonna notice that everything's really functional, but it's a lot of more uh, basic finishes. So this particular model, the 1780 formal dining room up front, you'll notice that a lot of the um, living areas, at least in this community, have carpet. So they've got the ceramic tile in the entryway and through the kitchen right here. But then obviously the living room, hallway, um, the formal dining room up here also have carpet. You also notice you don't get a refrigerator included with your appliance package, but I do like what they do with their cabinets. They do the crown molding and um, they have the offset look. I honestly don't even know what this is called, where the microwave cabinet's out and it's a little bit higher. Just gives it a little bit more of a distinct look. Um, the countertops are from Mica. They're not granite, but they are at least a bull nose here. So it's got that beveled edge granite look, but it's definitely not a granite. So you get microwave range, no refrigerator, and your dishwasher and sink is in the island, which I'm a fan of your water in the island. I think it's a really cool feature. Um, they do have a lot of good incentives, so stick around till the end, because I'm gonna tell you about those, which will definitely take care of your refrigerator. So off the kitchen, you've got the laundry room, which takes you out to the garage. I'll take you in there in a minute. I wanna show you this area first. So they've got recessed lighting in here. I've talked about that before. I think they did a good job with lighting in the living areas, so you've got your four can lights here. You've got six cans in the kitchen and a fan. So I think they did a good job with lighting. This is a nice open living area when you still have the formal dining space up front. And then check this out. So then this particular home is on a pond. I mean, it's a pretty big pond. So you've got a nice waterfront view. And then obviously one of the things to take note of is because this home is in an association, you are gonna have smaller lots, which we've talked about before, trying to find homes that aren't part of an HOA because people wanna be on a scatter lot. Well, obviously this is the opposite. This is part of a subdivision. So you can see your neighbor's home is pretty close right here. This is essentially the definition of what zero lot line is. So obviously most people mitigate that by putting up a fence but the offset and the trade-off obviously is you do get things like the community pool, the cabana, and it's a gated neighborhood. So some people want more space, scatter lot might be a bit better option for you. Or if you want something like this, where you've got a pond view, community pool, we're literally just right around the corner. Heritage High School is right here. We'll, we'll fly the drone up in a little bit so you can take a look at how close we actually are. So those are kind of the trade-offs between scatter lot and HOA. So let's take you, um, let's go back inside. We'll finish looking at all the bedrooms and I'll show you the, the master bedroom because it is pretty good size. And then I'll tell you about all the incentives that they've got going on right now. All right, so one of the biggest 
pieces of feedback we actually get on this model is the living space. People love how open this is. They love the sides of the kitchen, but it is not a split bedroom floor plan. All the bedrooms are on that side of the home. To some people that doesn't matter, but other people they really want a split bedroom floor plan. Um, if you do want a split bedroom, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because there are about four other models that are in here that we're gonna do tours like this on. And so if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those. Also, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else in St. John's Preserve, Adam, Adam's Homes, Space Coast, Central Florida Real Estate, whatever, Whatever it is, drop that in the comments. And I've also got our contact information down in the description so you can reach out by call, text, or email. All right, follow me. I'll take you in here and we'll check out these other bedrooms. So bedroom two right here in the front, this is actually gonna be the smallest of the three bedrooms, but it is a 12 by 10. So it's still uh, a decent size bedroom. It's not the standard like 10 by 10. It is 12 by 10. Plus the, the vaulted ceilings really help out with space in this home. And then obviously you've got a standard closet here with a swing door. I'm a big fan of these style of smooth finished doors, no wood grain. It's got the five panel on there. It's a little bit more of a modern look. And so then down here we've got the master and then along with bedroom three and bathroom two is right here. You could take a look at that. You'll also notice it's finished about the same as the kitchen with the cabinetry and the same style of countertop. And now bedroom two, this is a 14 by 10. So this bedroom is quite a bit bigger. Again, it's got the vaulted ceiling, which really helps with the feel and then same size closet as the other. And then also right here, you've also got a, I don't even know if I would call this a linen closet. I mean, this is a full on, like clothes closet in the middle of your hallway. So that could double purpose as linen closet or clothes closet. And then right here behind you, which we just walked by, this closet is for the air conditioner. So let's go in here. And actually, before we do, I totally forgot to show you guys the garage. Follow me this way real quick. I know it's just a garage, but you gotta see it. So standard laundry room and then two car garage here. Nothing oversized, I mean, it is really two car garage. And then obviously your storm shutters are bundled up all nice and neat right here. Water heaters tucked away in the corner and then your attic access is right here as well. So now that you've seen the garage, I know all you guys out there, you wanna know what you're working with in the garage space. So there it is, ladies, there's your kitchen. I'm digging this size of this kitchen. It's actually a really cool layout. And then back here is the master bedroom. So. I know I took you through this house a little bit backwards, but I gotta keep you on your toes, otherwise you guys probably wouldn't pay attention to this, right? So the master bedroom is, it's like 16 and a half by 12 and a half. So it's not a full 17 by 13, but it's a 16 and a half by 12 and a half. Has a really nice walk-in closet right here. Pretty much the full length of the bathroom. You can go in there and check it out. And then over here, your master bath with dual sink vanities, garden tub, shower, and then the toilets over here. So one of the things that you'll notice that we kind of mentioned in the beginning is these homes are really value driven. So there's not really a lot of custom tile work. Everything is like one piece. So you've got a one piece tub. It's got a one piece shower insert for the tray and the walls right there. And then obviously this particular one is on the pond. So you've got a pretty cool view right here out your back window. So let's get down to incentives, right? That's what everybody really wants to know what's going on, what are the incentives. So this home, once again, is the 1780 floor plan, and this is elevation B, and this one's considered move-in ready. So these are priced right now anywhere between 353 to like 358 on the high end. And this is what I think is really cool. Um, they're paying all your closing costs, obviously, if you use the preferred lender. So there's no closing costs. They're even offering $10,000 in flex cash, which can be used for whatever you want. And on top of that, there's a 4.99% interest rate. And this isn't the two to one buy down that we've, that we've seen uh, become so popular. This is actually a 4.99 fixed rate loan. And what it is, it's on year one, your interest rate's 3.99, and then year two through 30, so the entire life of the loan, 
it's 4.99. So essentially, the way I understand this program is there's a limited amount of funds that Adams has pulled together, almost like a grant, and pretty much anybody who qualifies to purchase a home with their lender is eligible for that. Now, it's all, obviously, it's only available on certain homes that are quick move-ins and there are some deadlines. So if you guys are interested in that, please reach out. We would love to help you with that and help you make that transition. So our contact information is down in the description. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can check that out and do it right here. Watch one of these two videos. I'll see you next time.